In today's video, we check out a peach wheat that I made for a party coming up soon. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So uh, instead of doing a, uh, let's say, brewing video for this peach wheat, then doing a tasting, we're combining them all into one. So that way everything's in here. So this is a peach wheat. Uh, there is some interesting stuff about this. Um, it does use 4.8 pounds of white wheat. 3.8 pounds or three and a half pounds of two row. I did use raw two row, then eight ounces of Munich and eight ounces of rice hulls. Now, the thing that I did mess up on when I put it in Beersmith, I forgot the flaked wheat. So this does not have flaked wheat in it. So the head might not be there. It might not be as weedy as it should be because of that. So, uh, I have, what can I say? I screwed up. Um, then for the hops, this is an hour boil. So at 60 minutes, 0.5 ounces of Northern Brewer, uh, 40 minutes, 0.5 ounces of Mount Hood. Then five minutes left in the boil is half an ounce of Cascade. Uh, I did use the Omega uh, Tropical Yeast on this. I, I think it, it's either tropical IPA or just tropical yeast. Uh, I talked to the guy at the store and he said it would leave it a little bit more cloudy and it's supposed to bring like a tropical peach vibe. So that's why that's what we're looking for. I tried it. Now this one and the other one, we'll get into the other one in the next video, but uh, I did use the tropical yeast on both to see if it would bring out peach. So if this tastes kind of weird, it's probably because of yeast. So, uh, my uh, post boil gravity was 1040. I was supposed to hit 1042, so close enough. Um, for the secondary fermentation, I used two pounds of frozen peaches in this. So I took them out of the freezer, opened them, dumped them in there, put the beer on top, and let it sit for two weeks. So in the end, because this is for a party we're having actually today, um, this is a 5.34% ABV. So it won't get everybody slaughtered, usually like the raspberry does. Good. So head is gone. I do have a white bubble -ish it is like around hazy. the side. Yeah. Yeah, color is almost like a golden. A golden, like the golden wheat. Yeah. I, I was gonna say like golden lemon wheat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think that, the, the, the weird part about this is I wasn't sure if this was the wheat or if it was the IPA because when I transferred this, it was crystal clear. Okay. So, smell, what do you got to smell? A very faint, fruity smell. It's just faint though. Yeah, it, it, it's more weedy to me than anything. Maybe like a yeasty fruit note, something in there. I am taste. waiting very impatiently. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this okay. beer. Okay. Wheat, very thin. Mm-hmm. Very thin. But that flaked um, uh, wheat probably would have helped the body a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit thinner than I'd like. Yeah. But, I don't know, I'd even put an orange slice in there and drink it. Yeah, it, it's... Like, I get the fruit, but it's so faint, there's no way I could say it's peach. Could you? No. Yeah. Is there anything you can add to it to sweeten it up? Thicken it up at this point? No. Nope. Okay. Looks like we'll have to run and get some uh, oranges. 
<laughs> I mean, I would drink it. It's nothing that I would brew again. I think if I brewed it again, obviously I would add the, the flaked wheat to it. And I would probably um, actually puree the fruit and see if that helped. So just that way it had more contact. Yeah, because the, they just laid there. Right. The peaches were still there, solid. Well, right, but as temperature goes up and down, it sucks it in and I know, out. but it still, yeah, I would have totally pureed it and just left it in there. That's what I would have done. Yeah, it, it's definitely on the lighter side. The peach really doesn't come out. You could almost say this is just a wheat beer and probably put cherries in it, you know, whatever fruit you wanted, and I'm sure it would take over and you could make it pretty much I think it tastes okay, though. You want. It's not like it tastes rotten. I'll probably drink that. Yeah. But it doesn't, like that yeast supposedly gave off peach, and that's why I only, I wanted to almost do it like I did it mm -hmm. to see how much peach really came out in there, but you can't taste it i i would have to make it with like uso5 or uh zero zero one to see if it really did anything i don't feel that it did because the wheat just comes out okay. but yeah it's i think it would be good but i'm gonna have to do it again with the actual correct recipe instead of writing it all down and just going and getting it okay no <laughs> Anything else? No. <laughs> so if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.